In this video, I explain in a simple way what the chi-square test is and how you can calculate the chi-square test with just a few steps. This leads us right to the first question. What is the chi-square test? The chi-square test is a hypothesis test that is used when you want to determine whether there is a relationship between two categorical variables or not. What are categorical variables? Categorical variables are, for example, gender with the characteristics male and female, or the preferred newspaper where you have the Washington Post, the New York Times, USA Today, or, for example, the frequency of television with several times a week, rare, never, or the highest educational level of a person. These are all categorical variables. The weight of a person, for example, or the salary or the electricity consumption are no categorical variables. So whenever we have two categorical variables, and we want to check if there is a correlation between them, we use a chi-square test. We could, for example, be interested in the question if there is a relationship between gender and the preferred newspaper, or is a relationship between gender and the frequency of television. Another question could be, is there a relationship between the preferred newspaper and the frequency of television? Or finally, in the last example, is there a relationship between the frequency of television viewing and the highest level of education? Therefore, whenever we have two categorical variables for which we want to establish a relationship, we use the chi-square test. Let's say we want to investigate the relationship between gender and a person's highest educational level. Our question then would be, is there a relationship between gender and the highest level of education? For this purpose, we create a questionnaire where the participants mark their gender and their highest level of education. The result of this survey is displayed in an Excel table. In this table, we see one person in each row that we have surveyed. The first person we interviewed is male, and the highest educational level is college. The second person we interviewed is female and she is without graduation. We can now take this table and copy it into a statistical software like DataTab. DataTab then outputs the so-called cross table. In this table, you see the variable gender and the variable highest educational level and also how often in each case the combination occurs. Female and without graduation occurs six times in a table, or male and without graduation occurs altogether seven times in this table. Now we want to know whether gender has an influence on the highest educational level. Does it make a difference if I'm female or male in terms of the highest educational level I have? In other words, is there a relationship between gender and the highest educational level? In order to answer this question, we use the chi-square test. Now there are two ways how to calculate the chi-square test. Either we use a statistical software like DataTab, or we calculate the chi-square test by hand. We get started with the uncomplicated way and use DataTab, Afterwards, I will show you how you can calculate the chi-square test by hand. In order to do this, simply visit datadep.net. You will find the link in the video description. Now you click on Statistics Calculator and copy your own data into this table. The variables will now appear here below. Because of the fact that the variables' values are in words, DataTab assumes that they are categorical variables. If your data is coded with numbers, you have to change the scale level under Variable View. We want to calculate the chi-square test, so I just click here on the tab. Now we simply click on the variables gender and highest educational level, 
and DataTab will automatically suggest the appropriate test for you, in this case, the chi-square test. Now we immediately get the results for the chi-square test. We see the cross table for the variables gender and highest educational level. Here we can see the expected frequencies for perfectly independent variables. And finally, here are the results of the chi-square test and we get a p-value of 0.92. If you don't know how to interpret the results, you can simply have a look at the summary in words. A chi-square test was performed between gender and highest educational level. No expected cell frequencies were less than 5. There was no statistically significant relationship between gender and highest educational level. We use DataTab to calculate a chi-square test. Let's say we choose a significance level of 5%. Then we reject the null hypothesis if we get a p-value that is smaller than 0.05. We got a p-value of 0.981, which is of course much larger than 0.05 and thus we don't reject the null hypothesis. Based on this data, there is no relationship between gender and the highest educational level. And now let's calculate the chi-square test by hand. In order to calculate the chi-square test by hand, we need the cross tab with the observed frequencies and the cross tab with the expected frequencies. We get the expected frequencies by looking at which frequencies we should actually get if there was no relationship between gender and highest educational level. We can now calculate the chi-square value using the following formula. Here OK is the observed frequency of a cell and EK is the expected frequency of the respective cell. If we now apply this formula to our example, we get the following. From the first cell, we calculate the observed frequency 6 minus the expected frequency, which is 6.08. Square that and divide that by the expected frequency. We now do the same for the second cell. 7 minus 6.92 squared divided by 6.92. If we do this for all cells and sum it up, we get our chi-square value, which is 0.504. If you use a statistical software like DataTab, you get the p-value returned. However, calculating the p-value by hand is not feasible. Therefore, in this case, we use the so-called critical chi-square value. We can read the critical chi-square value in this table. You can find this table on datatab.net. The link is in the video description. Here we have a 5% significance level, so we are in that column. The degrees of freedom are obtained by multiplying the number of rows minus 1 by the number of columns minus 1. We have 4 rows and 2 columns, so we get 3 times 1, which equals 3. So we are in this row in the table now. This gives us a critical chi-square value of 7.815. Our calculated chi-square value is smaller than the critical value. So the null hypothesis is not rejected. If you like, check out DataTab. You will find many more tutorials there. I hope you enjoyed the video and see you next time.